Well, hello guys, me Elf here again at the messy workbench that I've been slaving over for the past uh, hour or so, and we're back on some Maxon, and uh, you'll notice some differences in this is a breadboard and an Arduino Nano. Now, the greater uh, search of knowledge and to know more about radios and repeaters, the Arduino Nano makes a pretty decent repeater controller if programmed correctly. Now, I have a link in the description below of the guy who helped me with this Arduino program. He actually wrote the program, and he's got a demonstration video of the same deal. Only he's using an Uno, I'm using a Nano for size uh, purposes. And this is all prototypical. We're going to omit the LED, we're not using it or its pull down resistor. Instead, I'm going to try to explain what's going on. Now, I have the cheap bargain basket prepper grade radio here. Militia grade radio, you know, because this is all they probably can afford or get around to using. Who knows? We are on a GMRS channel 1 channel one now you can see it's this is going into a dummy load too by the way so as you can see the radio and there's a kickback i don't know if i can hear that on this radio but you can see the kickback on the meter Yeah, now getting a core out of a Maxon is kind of a trick. Um, I don't have an open radio to show you. I did make a video on it, and but that video is not for the Arduino. That video is for normal controllers like, like that thing there. Um, proper controllers. But it does require a pair of radios. Now there is a way to modify these radios, just like you could do the Motorola mic track to have its receiver and transmitter separate the full duplex. But I don't go into that. It's just easier to do it this way. And what I'm going to do is I will be right back with an open radio, or I'll just open this one here and show you what the connections are. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you where to connect to get power, to get a core logic that is the right voltage for the Arduino and won't overwhelm it and burn it up, which I've learned the hard way by burning up two other Arduino Nanos. And in my previous video, you're going to keep these two. You have a ground and you have your audio output. Now, to get a core, you need to get right in here. There's a little resistor. A little thing. There's a little resistor right there. There's a header. There's a little resistor. You want to get solder right on the leg, closest to the head header. And that, it looks like uh, the color bands on that resistor are green, blue, and red down in there. And that's where we're going to grab our core. Now... When the radio receives a carrier, the core goes to zero, so it's going low when it receives. Keep that in mind. Uh, that brown is coming out. It's going to here, and here's another important thing. You need to put a diode in line. If you don't, the Arduino will keep the transmitter keyed up. It won't do it initially but the core will hang if there's no diode in line okay and i fought with this for an hour and a half trying to figure out why it wasn't you know returning back to its state it, you know not you know it's not bouncing back but also to get a transmit and what you're going to do with the little program that's written you're going to need five volts to get in here and you're probably not going to want to use the usb header to do it 
there is a five volt pin there is a five volt pin and a ground pin red and black respectively and what I've done with the five volts is I've come into the receiver radio you'll find at 7805 voltage regulator transistor right there 12 volts is on this side 5 volts coming out on this side so solder your line right on that and you got 5 and you can pick up your ground from the ground here or wherever you need I'm using a terminal block you can pick up a ground anywhere you know on one of these screws or whatever you got your audio and that's the connections in the radio put your little zener diode or something in here to make sure this thing bounces back down to know where it needs to go so it doesn't keep the radio keyed and on the digital pins your core is coming in on d2 down there no brown wire uh, this white is another ground uh, your transmit ptt line is d8 there is a ptt indicator led and all that but i don't have it set up on it because i don't need it i'm using the radio um now this is where it gets a little tricky because you're gonna have to pull another ground and that's going to have to go to a transistor and basically what we're using is an NPN transistor switch we have a PTT line going in on pin 1 uh, the transistor number is C945 which is an NPN general purpose I can't remember with the base collector, but you get how it's hooked up. The PTT is coming in. You have your ground shunt in the middle, and then we have a push to talk coming from the Arduino. Is going on three on this last leg. You grounding. Or you pulled your ground from the Arduino on the white. And the ground rail is going in on the center pin, and off to the radio is on the last pin going off to the transmit radio at the bottom that takes care of your push to talk and the reason that is the max on radio needs to pull the ground for the ptt to come up okay you're not going to get it from the logic here so we're using a transistor using the ptt logic to control the transistor when the transistor turns on, it shunts this, this line and ground together, the radio keys. The audio, like I said, are these two. I don't know if I mentioned it, but we have a receiver audio and a transmit audio. I'm not hooking those up because I still need to put in this little guy, an audio isolation transformer <coughs> to make it right. But, uh... But you can see clearly at about a two second, three second hang time. Currently, the program has no more sight, no CWID or any, no rod courtesy tones or any of that. It's, I don't want it in this one. I just want it to be straight shot, simple, quick, and easy. And, uh, yeah, the, you know, and the transmitter is the same as the other video as far as the wires connected. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing here. There's so many videos on things like this with Arduinos for ham radios that no one explains anything. It's silent movies, you know, and you're trying to work it out and you can't. <coughs> and then you try to ask the creator a question they never answer you or they don't speak English or something I don't know uh, well this is what it is we're not using the LED here it's just stuck on the board because I was testing the uh, output of this transistor earlier to make sure it was going to do what I needed um, there is you can also add a line to one of the spare pins for a transmit LED indicator if you wanted it. Um, I don't need, I'm just using the radio. You know, it's not necessary. And the reason I chose the, the Nano, this isn't the Nano that I'm gonna be using. This is just my testing general purpose one. I'm choosing a Nano because I'm thinking about 
putting all this on a board and putting it in here somewhere, you know, insulating it good, maybe up in the face plate, there's some room up in there for it, without all the pins, of course, or building a real small box, you know, something simple, keeping this all together, relatively small. And these are 40 watt radios. I could go with the smaller Motorola radio or a pair of these uh, one hung low uh, Boy Scout radios, you know, hooked into the side here, I guess, you know, like some of these guys like to do and use that. Um, <laughs> use something like that. Um, and you see all I'm powering it on is this little battery. Uh, this system will work on this battery here. If I cut the power back to a couple of watts on the transmitter, it'll run off of this battery with a solar charger. Fine. And, you know, this thing is... There's the battery against two radios. Here's a 7 amp hour battery compared to that battery. Uh, bigger brother here. Commonly found in backup power boxes for computers this one's brand new and bought turned out my power box was fried not the battery so i've got three four of these laying around so deployment 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 hook this up i've got a little small another one of those duplexers i also got a smaller one out of a flexar repeater it's about half the size of that <coughs> could all be strapped together put in some tupperware i don't know and deployed if needed as a portable repeater i could just put them on brackets and a rack but you know when the controllers run out on the real controllers you know you start selling them off and using them you don't have any ten dollars you can get three of these on ebay and ten twelve dollars get you about three of these arduino nanos learn how to do some c programming you know I'm telling you, I'm not going to hand it to you. You're going to have to learn it. I will put a link to the guy who wrote me the code. And you can use that. But if you want it to uh, courtesy tones and Morse code and all that, you're going to have to learn it on your own. Just like I'm doing. Just like anyone else that does who wants to learn. Okay, this isn't like, you know, it's a learning experience. And... And I'm learning, and as I'm learning, I'm trying to share it with the rest of you. But the most important thing with this radio is to be the Maxon SM4000. This is a 4450. It could be the 4150. It could be a GE monogram. It could be, I'm assuming, the PM150 mobiles. You need to find your logic core logic, your 5 volts, to work with Arduino. There's no way around it. I tried transistor switching, it wouldn't work. And in the case of the monogram or this, it is right there. This header is right there. Get on that leg and get your core. It starts out at 5 volts high. Radio receives, it goes to zero. This thing here will sense a low. We'll sense that signal going low. It'll activate the PTT line on 8, which in turn, no, pin 8 goes high, causes this transistor to go high, which shunts the PTT line from the transmitting radio at the bottom to ground and keys up the radio. Audio, you could be nasty with this and just put these together. Yeah, you know, just bullet them together but i'm going to be using this little guy here one on that leg one over here and then get some grounds on there put it all together the finished product i'm hoping is going to be on a little perf, perf board i got i got these little boards you can get an arduino on there and i'm hoping i can get the little transformer transistor switch and all the LEDs on and put this in a little box and just wire it all in and uh, yeah start making my own controllers because I can tell you buying more of those people on eBay have 
rack controllers and Zetron, ZR 310s, things like that. You know, I7 or whatever the Motorola ones are, Ricks. And the people that have them think they are made of gold. I mean, they want entirely way too much money for them. So this is the cheap solution. And hopefully, maybe I can go into more detail when I have more time. But for now, I'm going to leave the video. Uh, with Motorola radios, it's about the same way. It's the same thing. It's identical. The hardest part with Maxon is finding a core, whereas in Motorola you got 16 pins on the ass that give it to you, and you can just plug in Arduino, female to female, between them, and get your volt. You know everything but your voltage. You got to get regulated five volts. But you can use out of the way in Motorola you use the USB cord I guess because you're not going to get five out of the back you're going to get 12 and it's going to fuck your thing up unless you're using an Uno and then you can come 12 come off 12 and right into the barrel um but yeah I'm going to leave the video this diode is important this is on your core line from the radio to Arduino it's important to get this in here if not this thing will not bounce back into its normal state and it will keep the transmitter keyed until it times out so so anyway if you like it thumb it up and in the description will be a link to the video the guy has who wrote me the code and a link to the code and all that is in his video and he's got a little demonstration where he smashes the button and the leds come on principle I added the transistor switch because it's needed for the PTT function, the actual push to talk function. <clears throat> You're not going to get PTT to work straight off of this. It's not going to happen when most radios require you to shunt the push to talk to ground anyway. It's not going to work. So, yep. Yeah. I'm Elf, ElfNet Designs, and hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.